Solidarity comrades, <clears throat> I know it's been a long time since my last video, I've been very busy with work, but uh, I wanted to make a video about Cuban socialism and its current state, and uh, I know a lot of people, especially uh, Marxist-Leninist comrades, are worried about the uh, possibility of capitalist roadsters within the party and you know a failure of cuban socialism and i wanted to voice my opinion on it and uh the first thing i want to say is that really comrades there's nothing to worry about when it comes to cuban socialism since the 1950s it has been a shining beacon of socialism and anti-imperialism only 90 miles off the shore of the world's strongest imperialist power, the United States. And it has thrived and survived even in the post-USSR era. And there's a reason for that. It's because Cuban socialism works. They have made leaps and bounds in terms of uh, socialist economic uh, development, medicine, uh, medical care, uh, education, um, as well as uh, improving the rights of minorities, uh, disabled peoples, uh, the LGBT plus uh, rights, and <clears throat> they have also supported socialist movements and oppressed peoples uh, across the world. And... As for their socialism today, you see a lot of people worried, especially towards the end of Obama's uh, administration, lifting the sanctions and allowing uh, – you see that there's worry that they're going to start allowing small businesses to exist and such. And I wanted to you know, put my two cents on it. I don't think that the Cuban state taking steps towards alleviating – their economic struggles from imperialist economic strangleholds is something to worry about. Um, they know what they're doing. The Cuban people and the Cuban uh, the, uh, Communist Party of Cuba know what they're doing. They have been doing it for many years, and they still thrive. They, they thrive sh stronger than most socialist movements and longer than most socialist movements without reverting to uh, capitalist uh, means of production or reverting to some sort of revisionism like the USSR did post-Stalin or the People's Republic of China did post-Mao. Uh, post and you see out of all the existing socialist states – um, that Cuba probably adheres closest to a dialectical materialist analysis of the global imperialist and global imperialism and also to their own um, means of building socialism. They, they adhere very strongly to the Marxist Leninist, uh, stance, scientific socialism. And I really wanted to just, you know, put my two cents in on it. Uh, I know I said that already. I tend to repeat myself. But um, the Communist Party of Cuba knows what they're doing. And they are a great vanguard party, and they adhere – to, like I said, to that scientific socialism. And you see people worried with the recent, at the end of the Obama administration, with their, uh, some things being said about them. There's nothing directly from them, from what I know, uh, stating that they will allow any capitalist, uh, 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 capitalism, uh, means of, modes of production to return to their state. Um, Anything that they do do that seems scary to you is just them trying to alleviate in, uh, the hardships of imperialism put on them by the Western world. Um, 
but you see that they thrive regardless. They 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 have a norm. They've eradicated illiteracy. They have uh, universal benefits medicinally for all Cubans. They continue to put forth fantastic socialist programs. They continue to support the oppressed peoples of the world. There's nothing to worry about when it comes to Cuba. And especially with this new administration probably reverting uh, the Obama's, uh, Obama's de administration's decision to uh, try to open up to Cuba and you know, probably doubling down on sanctions and making it even worse for the Cuban people. I don't see anything to worry about when it comes to when it comes to Cuba and their model of socialism. There is something strong there. There's something to be learned from. Uh, we must uh, take their example and try to um, try to put that into the uh, into our thoughts uh, when it comes to analyzing the material conditions of Cuba and I really 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 don't think there is much to worry about um, put any comments down below if I've missed something or that I'm wrong or your thoughts about it uh, I would like to hear them uh, just n no racist ableist uh, offensive vitriol down there that will be immediately removed if you are someone who's against socialism or anything like that you're, you're fine to comment just keep it civil and uh yeah thank you for watching i know this wasn't a very good video it was just something i decided to do on the fly and uh hopefully i'll get a uh, a more in-depth video a more uh detailed video pretty soon um I have some ideas and some plans for some stuff for the future. Just let me know what you think. And solidarity comrades.